underscore whatever your map name is mine's is mp low slash kh1 and then click OK and now we get a load of um, values come up OK uh, material type we want to make the material type 2d OK that's got rid of quite a lot of options OK surface type um, want to make that none uh, sort default uh, usage not in editor um, can stay roughly as it is coal face can stay as it is the rest can stay as it is um, color map um, basically you um, click this one you uh, go to your um, texture assets and here we go compass map MP yep to tile both to no tile change MIP standard to no MIP billionaire okay and now you want to um, save it as a GT GDT file So we go back. Zone source. Sorry, it's not zone source. Zone data. Source data. Here we go. Okay. And then what we'll do after all that's done is we go PC convert asset only or current asset only okay um, that's done okay you I've, I've already got this file in here that's why I've got a couple of different things coming up but if you follow my lead you you should be okay Okay, so once that's done, that's your um, your compass now been done. Okay, so you close the asset manager, and you want to put your line in here. So it's maps backslash mp backslash underscore compass um, two dots two dots set up mini map bracket speech marks compass underscore map underscore mp your map name okay and you want to save that next thing you need to do is update your um, your zone file here my one's material comma compass low slash map mpkh1 you save that and then build a fast file okay once you've um, built your fast files you need to take those fast files and you need to put them in the user maps folder so basically your your fast files would be in here it's just an example they'll be in there you need to cut them from there and place them into a new folder say mpkh1 that's the name of your map for example and you put them in there okay next you would need to um, make your own map name um, IWD um, file 
um, in this file that's where your uh, your compass um, file your image files uh, are put okay so um, I've got one here already I'm just gonna I'm gonna open it up and let you see how it's done I use I use WinRAR so I've changed it to a, to a RAR file press enter okay um, materials I've got my compass map MP KH1 and my load screen map or oh, load screen MP KH1 in here okay they have come from my raw folder materials okay go in the raw folder and in there you'll find the materials and also my IWE uh, IWI files okay so you basically you just copy them over into your IWD file it is a bit complicated <laughs> okay you don't actually have to put this in the reason why I've put this in here is to get the SAS working okay now we have all that um, you, will, you will need to uh, run your map now um, from the um, Call of Duty shortcut um, you must before you do any of these um, things like uh, mini maps and loading screens you want to make sure that your map is finished you want to make sure you because you c once it's done it's it's not very easy to access the map you can't run the map run selected map this is another reason why I'm using two maps to um, show in this uh, tutorial Okay, so to run the map, we just run Call of Duty for multiplayer. We go to the mods. Um, you would go to Mod Warfare. My IWD f um, file is in in another um, is in another mod. So if I go over to bots, it's just an easy way for me to. Um, test the map because I uh, I'm using server bots okay so once once your uh, your mod has loaded you can then bring down your console type map or forward slash map mines is MP underscore kh1 and I press enter now as you can see I've um, I've got my mini map we're done good luck and uh, hope it all works